everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds, and I have some unboxings for you today. Um, this was kind of an ex unexpected buy, but there was a sale, and I really can't pass up a sale. So, <laughs> do I need this merchandise? Absolutely not, but I'm excited to open it and see what's in here. I'm sitting down, and this is the second box. There are two boxes. Um, I wasn't expecting two boxes. So this is my first time ordering from Helpsy. They were formerly Cozy Threads, formerly Jomar, and I've never ordered from them as Helpsy. But they were having, I can't remember if it's 20 or 30% off, for one day only. They had like a special, it's like a 12 day of Christmas sale. They were doing like a certain sale every day. I'll put up on the screen what I paid for it. I think each item came to like $3.20, so I was like, that's a really good deal. And shipping was free for two giant boxes. One of them says it weighs 17 pounds. I don't know about the other one, but it says there's only 40 items. Like, they might be like really big. These are still taped shut. I brought my scissors. So we're opening these together. Probably gonna have to cut, cut this video a lot so I can like situate myself, but I'm excited. So, without further ado, we're going to slice open this first box. And there's a lot of tape on this. I brought this over today in a rainstorm. <laughs> so I know a lot of the country is facing a lot of like snow and freezing. We're in Massachusetts and we are having like 55 degrees and torrential downpour downpours and flooding. So our freezing weather comes tomorrow. So all of this rain is gonna turn to pure ice, which will be super fun. <laughs> scissors over here. All right. Whew. I'm going to try to put this on the floor. Oh my God. This is enormous. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of room in my office because as you know, I have problems buying too much inventory. <laughs> okay. I can see why it's heavy because there's definitely jackets on top. Okay. I'll try to show them to you the best that I can. Oh, it's very soft. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is a Vintage Express. You guys know I love Vintage Express. This is like one of those, so it's suede. This is like a long jacket. Oh my goodness. So this is the Vintage 90s Express label. It says it's a medium. Oh my goodness. This is, this is a huge coat. I could definitely see. This coat itself probably weighs five pounds. Oh my goodness. Okay, there is like a, see some, some like black on it. I'm probably just going to sell as is because I don't want to deal with that. But it's really soft, really warm feeling. What is it made out of? Let's see, shell is 100% leather, lining 100% acrylic. Okay, this is a nice coat. There's no like like holes or anything in it. It's just got that like scuffing. I think there's a little bit on the bottom. But yeah, this is a like maxi coat. Very, very nice. Okay, not mad about that one. Next, I see another coat. I'm gonna be doing a lot of standing up in this video. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know this. I don't know if this is uh, vintage, but it's a like hunter green wool coat with a hood. It does have a tag from swap.com on it. So obviously it came from there at some point. Um, yeah. Swap.com. So it was there. Du Li Chong. Anybody know this brand? I don't think, I, I don't know. This, I mean, it could be vintage. It looks like one of the, like the buttons have been like re-sewn on, but that's like one of those magnet buttons. So it's not seen, like it's a hidden button. So I don't know, I don't see any flaws. This is like a midi length, like hunter green. That's a really nice coat too. Okay, that's why that box is so heavy. There's an, another coat, oh my god. This one's definitely vintage. I can just tell by the tag. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. 
at these colors. It's like purple, like all these different like mixed colors. It's by Bromley, made in the USA, Demi Petite. I don't, but this is a really nice coat as well. Um, I think, oh, it's missing a button. Okay. The front has, it should have three buttons down the front and it has two. But that's, I mean, another button can be easily put on. Um, dry clean only. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other tags in here. Let's see. I mean, it looks really good. It's probably like a small based on, you know, how it looks. It has like this little strap in the back. Okay, that's three big winter coats. Those will have to be listed pretty quickly. Ooh, <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. I actually have sold this brand. Oh my God, it's a snowsuit. Guys, it's a snowsuit. Look at these colors. This is like gold. Oh my gosh, I can't. So the top, this is, this is nice. So the brand is, Decente, I think that's how you say it. But I've sold a winter coat by them for like a hundred dollars. And this is a whole snowsuit. And it's like gold. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like, it's a really nice quality too. Like here's the ankles. Maybe they just sent me a bunch of winter stuff and that's why it was so heavy. That's why it was, you know, for some reason, the size has been, there's been white out over the size, so I don't know if I can scratch that off or see through the other side. Oh yeah. So the other side, it says extra large, but vintage extra large. So maybe like a medium. But this is cool. This is really, really cool. I might have to have my mom model it. So I had a bunch of vintage snowsuits. I found it in a state sale last year and I had my mom model them all. It was awesome. <laughs> okay, what is this? Okay, this isn't a coat. This is a skirt. Oh, it's Max, Ma Max Mara, vintage Max Mara. Like tweed, dark academia style. Here is the tag. Max Mara made in Italy, um, USA size eight. I think it, it might be actually like an eight, maybe a six. I'll, I'll put measurements. Looks pretty good. I mean, there's a few pulled threads and stuff, but overall, good condition. Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. This is, wow, it is new with tags as well, and it is super trash. It is like a, like a raincoat. It says it's an oil slicker. It's very, very wrinkled. Um, I don't know if you can steam something like this, but look at, look at the tag. 100% waterproof fabric. It says it's a size 14. Made in the USA. Um, look at these, like, latches on it. Look at these buckle. Oh my goodness. This is really cool. Apparently someone tried to sell it for $7 at some point. But maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But yeah, this is, this is fun. So what do you think? Okay. Do you think I can steam this? It does have some like discoloration, but like, can you steam like a raincoat? I'm really, <laughs> I'm wondering because it, it looks, it looks rough. It looks rough, but it is new with tags, which is, which is fun. Yeah. Color fast, will not fade, scuff resistant, all weather resistant, waterproof. To clean, wash with warm water and soap. Okay. To make this garment last longest, hang it up when wet. Do not put it near or on a hot radiator to dry. Okay. That's cool. I like it. I like that too. Okay. It's another, it's another coat. Oh my god. Oh my god, where am I going to store all of these wool coats? I, I'm, I'm not mad though because I literally paid like less than $4 a piece for these. 
So maybe if I price to sell, this one has no tag and it does have some damage. This is kind of cool. It looks like, I don't know. See, it does have like a hole in the liner, but it is like a tweed wool. It's definitely wool. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, it's like pleated in the back, which is kind of nice. It looks like it may have had like a belt or something because it's like cut off like a belt loop or something. I don't see any tags in this though. So, oh wait, I do. I found them. Style Chic Ink. Alright. It's probably 80s. Kind of looks like a maybe 70s or 80s tag. We'll have to see. This one I can probably price low because it does have some flaws, but it is really nice and warm and sturdy looking. We'll see. Oh, I see velvet. I see velvet. Oh, if you guys don't know, I've been like obsessed with velvet lately because it's been selling so well. This is gorgeous. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay. Look at look at this. It's got these like stripes. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh, but this fit me. Um, what is in the liner here? It's like little shamrocks in the liner. There is a hole in the liner. Okay. Ooh. Olympia Fashions, made in the USA, clean by fur coat method. It's not real fur, it's definitely faux fur. But this is Olympia Fashion. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, I am so fancy now. Look at these, like, oh, I love these stripes and the sleeve. I don't know if I'd wear this though. This might be too fancy for me. I think it had a button. Oh yeah, it did. It had like a, like a loop thing. Oh my god. It looked like a linebacker. <laughs> I don't know about that, but that is, that's, this is gorgeous. I love this. Oh my god, this pile of coats. <laughs> a little overwhelming. Right, what are we here? Another, another coat. Another coat. This is just Jones New York suit. It's probably like... 90s, but this is a nice long, like herring, is it herringbone or it's a nice long coat. The size has been cut out. This is the tag. Um, let's see, it does have all its buttons, has all its buttons. Okay. Uh, polyester viscose elastine. Okay, this is this is decent. Maybe I'll list this for like $35 and see what happens. Alright, one more item in this box. Some charter club like wool pants. Like high waist, like emerald green, size 8. These will sell. These are cool. These are very dark academia as well. Dark academia is always good. This box is empty. All right, we are down to one more box. And this box is just as big as the last one. I kind of hope it's not all winter coats because I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I was hoping for some dresses or something, but they're obviously trying to unload all of their winter stuff. But it is still winter, so literally winter just started the other day, technically, so like it won't sell but I just don't have the storage for big bulky winter coats that's why on my lives on Poshmark I sold bulky sweaters because I wanted to get them out of my office I can open this oh, oh there's more coats in here Okay, okay. Let's hope they're good ones. Let's hope they sell quick. How about that? Let's just hope that they sell quick. This might be real fur. Ooh, that feels strange. It's kind of matted. I don't know about this. This looks like an actual dead animal. <laughs> Actually, it might be... I don't 
know, because the outside definitely doesn't look like real fur. Like it's a white, like it definitely needs some love. It's got a hood. But like this trim looks like it could possibly be real fur. And these buttons are kind of cool looking. But I'm trying to see if there is a tag. Tag, tag. Yes. This is Sears Fashions. Okay, this looks like a really old Sears tag. This could possibly be like 60s. So, I don't know. It doesn't say what it's made out of, though. If I can wash it. It's got a union tag. It says it's a size 12. I really don't know. Like, if it's real fur, I can't just shove it in, like washing machine. If it's soak it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Like this texture, it like looks, it looks like a teddy bear coat, but it definitely needs some washing. And like this, the trim looks like real fur. I don't know. Okay. I'm stumped. It's, it's a nice coat if it's cleaned up. I, I will say that much. All right. We got something that's not a coat. This is just a basic Cold Water Creek top. This I don't even think this is vintage. This might be, might be 2000s. Yeah, I'm not, not too jazzed about that. That's fine. Oh, another giant coat. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, Hatley Jonas. Does anybody know what that is? This is heavy. Oh my god. This hood, and it's got like a scarf tie around the neck it's got like wide sleeves this does not look vintage to me um it's like a maxi coat it's got buttons i think is it missing a button no it's not it's got big buttons down the front hmm. let me show you the tag Hatley Jonas. I've never heard of that, and it does not look like a vintage tag to me, but I could be wrong. The inside is very smooth, very smooth and like shiny. It doesn't have any materials tag. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. So if any of you know what Hatley Jonas is, I'll have to look it up, but oh my god, I have nowhere to put all these coats. I'm trying to <laughs> pile them up over there. Oh, there's some actual other stuff in this box. Okay. Old dress barn, like not good old dress barn. <laughs> what is this? It's like tied with an elastic. Oh, it's a two-piece set. Okay. It's got like a, it's sort of like an animal print. Uh, and then it's got a matching skirt, I think. Yeah. It's a little set. Meh. That doesn't really look vintage either. Alright. Let's hope that, you know, they gave me some vintage stuff with those coats. This is kind of cute. This is like a little pink, like, embroidered top. It's by Jenny. Probably 90s. Alright. What are you? Queen's Way and Fashion Coordinated Collection. Uh, polyester cotton, just like a button-down, like, gauzy shirt. That's not too exciting. This sweater, let's see. This is like a vintage L.L. Bean sweater. This is cute. I like the color. It's like a mauve. My mom might actually like this. It's a medium. It's 100% wool. Yeah, it's got this nice, like, border. I don't know. Put it aside and see if my mom might want it. <clears throat> Alright, what are you? What are you? Oh, it's St. John. Oh, okay. This is St. John. It's the Santana knit style. It's like a burgundy. Not sure if this is vintage. It's, and it might be actually like 90s. It's got shoulder pads, but it is Santana knit. It's got those 
gold shiny buttons, so that's nice. This is good. Um, this is by Mirasol. It's like a tapestry jacket. Paisley, sort of. Um, extra large, made in India. It's nice. Okay. I'm not even counting these either, so I don't know. <laughs> Anyone's keeping track. This says it's by the Lily B collection. It's just like a little vest. This is the tag. It's very like leg and look coastal grandma. It's got like shiny buttons on it. Okay. Ooh, this is a very bright purple. It's by Notations, which is nothing exciting, but color is very vibrant. It looks like it's in good condition. It is polyester spandex. It's a 2X, so that's good. There it is. Zips on the front. Alright. Oh, here we go. Here's some uh, Grandma Core. It's by National Wildlife Federation. It's a 2XL, and it is covered in chickadees. Look at that. It's the front and the back. This is really cute. I like this. And I like this pale yellow too. This is the tag. I, I like this one. Very cute. Okay. Alright. This is, says by Tess from Paris Milano. Size 8 polyester. It's just a printed blouse. Here's the tag. Nice. It's a nice, nice top. What's this? United States sweaters made in the USA. <laughs> this is cute. This is kind of like Y2K style. Like it's got like the little bell sleeves. It's ribbed. I think this will sell. This would be a good Depop one. Um, it's a small. Just like a neutral. It's good. It's good. We haven't gotten any dresses yet, and I'm sad about that because I love dresses. <laughs> the Best Pant Company, size 12, made in the USA. Just a pair of like brown trouser pants. They're like a wide leg. Uh, is that missing a button? No, it's not. Okay. Thought I was missing a button, but it is not. It's this. Yeah, polyester, high waisted, chocolate brown color. Those are nice. What is this? Um, Gior Giorgio Studios. Oh, new with tags. This is just a basic skirt, kind of like pencil skirt. There's the tag, and it is new with tags. It was $89 when it was purchased. And if it's like 80s, then that's a pretty expensive skirt. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Alright. Camille Claudel Acetate Rayon. It's a striped top. It's like a crinkle. Uh, does it button? I think it buttons. Yeah, it has like these tiny little buttons that are all undone right now. I think all the buttons are there. This could even be like in the Wednesday Adams tag. I think I could. I could use that. Yeah, Wednesday Adams. I've been tagging a lot of my like goth stuff as Wednesday Adams. I don't know if it helps, but maybe it's getting some eyes on my stuff. This is by Bon Worth, which is just like a plus, I think it's a plus size mall store or just like a mature mall store. Let's get this print on it. Don't expect much for that. Let's see. This is. Alice Apparel Mix and Match. It's like a paisley rose print. Oh, it's got like really sparkly buttons. I don't know if you can see that. This is the tag. Alice Apparel. Size 17. Hmm. Strange size. Oh, this is 
feels like suede. It's, it's dress barn. This is like modern dress barn. Like this, I'm pretty sure this tag is pretty modern. It's, I mean, where am I going here? Yeah, and it's, it's just the tag from Helpsy. It's got these like cool buttons. Well, I don't know. It's got a light shoulder pad, but I don't think it's real suede. Let's see. It doesn't have, oh it does, okay. It says polyester, yeah, so it's faux suede vegan suede, if you will. Some people dig that. Oh, I see a sweater. Love sweaters. Is this a Christmas sweater? Oh, ooh, yeah, I like it. It's not quite a Christmas sweater, but it's like a holiday sort of sweater. It's got like these red flowers. It's a cardigan. This is cute. I like this. This is by Elaine Manic. I don't know, size two wool acrylic. I don't know this brand, but this is cute. I don't know if that'll sell now, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try. This is by Rabbit Rabbit Rabbit. It's just like a velvet shrug. That's cute though. Like I said, velvet's doing well. I think, I think this will sell. It's it's like a 90s tag, size 8 petite, made in the USA. Okay. We have another funky sweater. This looks small, very small. Oh, this is definitely a Y2K sweater, because I remember this brand. So this is really tiny looking, but this is definitely Y2K. Because look at this tag, it's by Hout. I do remember this brand. This is Ramey and Wool Acrylic Nylon. It says it's a small, but I definitely think it fits more like an extra small. Yeah, it's cute though. I think this will sell. Yep. All right. It's a white blouse. This looks like. Oh, it says size eight. Sabrina from Saks Fifth Avenue. This looks like a child's dress. It doesn't look like women's. But here's the tag. Sabrina, Saks Fifth Avenue. And then it just says eight. And yeah, it looks like a, know, unless it's a women's blouse. I don't know. It's got buttons off the back too. It's really cute. I don't know, I think this, the shoulders are too small to be an adult. It's got these like puffy sleeves though, that's cute. Whatever, it's supposed to be only adult's clothing, but you know, it happens. This is Pendleton, okay. It's a Pendleton cardigan, very dark academia as well. It's this navy blue with like a forest green trim and buttons. Uh, it's a medium, it's cotton, not sure. This is vintage technically, it might be. I'll have to go through the Vintage Fashion Guild and look up their tags, because they there's like a ton of penalty tags on there. What are you? Fashion Bug. Oh, I remember this store. Look at this. Check this bad boy out. So like clasps here. This is probably like a Y2K Fashion Bug. Fashion book stretch. Polyester spandex. That's yeah, cute. I don't know. I don't think it'll sell for much, but I think it'll sell. What is this? Requirements petite. Petite medium. It's like floral, dark floral top or like a oh it's missing like the zipper pull. The zipper's fine, but the pull is like nub is kind of gone. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh man. This is by Pablo Collection made in the USA. Ooh, it's a little, little animal print number. It's got these cuffs and the pockets. This is the tag. 
Yeah, it's nothing too special, but ammo print is always in. Have any materials, tags? No. Okay. Oh wait. Uh, seventy percent polyester, thirty percent acrylic, size sixteen. Hmm. Okay. What are you? E C I New York. Someone put a ten dollar price tag on this. Ten dollars on this little tag, but this is very cute. This is um, it's very like Chanel looking. Yeah, Plaza Core, Plaza Princess. It's like very like yeah. Look at all oh, the sleeves are cute. It's like a little ribbon detail. Yeah, E C I New York. This doesn't look vintage either. It says it's a twelve, but okay. And one more. I've made it to the bottom, guys. Fully fashion imported cashmere made in the USA. Should say like a tan sweater. Um, usually with cashmere, you gotta really look it over to make sure there's no holes. This actually looks good. This actually looks like it's in really. Oh, I spoke too soon. There are two small holes in it. One here. There's one. Here, there may be more. Who knows? There's always holes in cashmere. I don't know. But it's really soft. There's no size. It's, it's nice. I don't know if anybody would want it with holes in it, though. So, that is the end. I don't know if there are 40. There's a lot, but those coats, there's literally a mountain of coats on the other side of me right now that I'm looking at, so we'll see what happens. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's having a great holiday, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Bye.